fiancé members in Kutugi, headquarters of Lavun local government area of Niger State, on Tuesday repelled an attack on the village by gunmen suspected to be bandits. Sarah reporters gathered that over 40 bandits were killed by the local security officials. Also, three members of the group lost their lives in the exchange of gunfire with the bandits. The source told Sarah reporters that the incident led to pandemonium in the area and residents were afraid that there might be a reprisal. The vigilante members mobilized and firmly defended the community, killing at least 40 bandits. Three members of the vigilante group were, however, killed by the gunmen. However, security operatives have been drafted to the community to restore law and order, a resident to Sahara reporters. Vigilante groups have been f formed across Niger to combat insecurity in the state. On February 17, 27 students, three staff members and 12 members of their families were abducted when gunmen stormed Government Science Secondary School in Kagara, Niger State. Why one of the students Benjamin Doma, who tried to escape, was gone down. A member of staff luckily broke loose from captivity. The armed men were said to have invaded the school around 3 a.m. The attackers were reportedly dressed in military uniform in, which, in what looks like a premeditated attack. The incidents happened barely three days after 21 passengers heading to Mina, capital of Niger State were abducted in broad daylight by gunmen. The students were released after spending 10 days in captivity. Okay. So, as it is now, does it mean the, the security operatives now will start to go and arrest the people that are uh, uh, fighting for themselves? They were defending the, uh, themselves. This is what they call self-defense. Self-defense. And the police could not help them. Now they are saying the police went there. Or the security operatives went there to go and restore peace and order. Peace and order that you did not put in place so that this thing wouldn't have happened in the first place. Well, they have been advising many people, prominent people and individuals. Everyone has been saying, defend yourself. People have to defend themselves. Ha! Nigeria police will soon arrest the vigilante members and send them to Abuja to for further interrogation. That is how Southwest OPs face their own. Hmm. I'm not sure they will do that. Well, exactly. Okay. You have the re or they. Okay, no. Hmm. They won't since they won't since na them them. But if to say na Yoruba or Igbo, Buari go order arrest. True talk or oh, hmm. therefore they go invite them. But some people have the opinion that since it's from the north, they might not even invite them. Guess and please waiting be not them them okay now mark is my okay mark is only one southern and key they will be arrested but when northern key nothing will happen that is the meaning of a they will soon be arrested or they might not arrest them don't wait until 2023 to defend your territory i salute the great nupe vigilante members for their wonderful job don't really don't rely on nigerian police keep it up defend yourselves and your people very good job. You are now learning from Eastern Security Network. Send them to their creator for judgment. Don't judge them. Uh, where are the Nigeria security forces? This can only happen in a failed state where citizens are now protecting themselves against territory, terrorists and their government security forces. This is what we expect from our northern brothers. It will appear as if they are the actual bandits if they don't rise to defend their land. May Allah strengthen them to conquer to conquer, may Allah accept the souls of the three brave men. It can only happen in the north if Amotekun should do such in the south here. We all know the consequences. The end time has come for the leadership of ethnicity. It's an answered prayer. Wallahi, the leadership that preferred cows, life to human lives. More of this, we can't wait for Nigeria government because from their actions and inaction, they are like bandits. We need to get our country back. Vigilante groups are now more effective than military and police. Those vigilantes should observe more vigilance going forward because those heartless criminals will mobilize for a return march. May God continue to help, protect, and bless all those putting their life on the line to protect the territorial integrity 
of the country. The only way to stop this nonsense is to revive the vigilante team in the local area. Government should engage the retired soldiers to kick banditry out of the country if they are really ready to fix insecurity. That is a valid point and that is a, a, a pertinent uh, point if they are ready. Because with the way things are, mm -mm, I don't think there's any 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 sign showing that the government is ready because from all indications you can say yes they are pussyfooty you can imagine that security operatives came after uh, the old incident saying that uh, they tried to restore peace and all that <laughs> is it not funny that is just the good news i've been waiting for long kudos to the vigilante and more strength to defend your community kudos to them this is what buhari government failed to do since we gave him power in 2015 to date it's better to arm yourselves, to arm yourselves, listening not to this incompetent government order to defend ourselves from those monsters. Good also the vigilante southwest are there arresting are they are there arresting OPC members that arrest a killer. What a shame. Very sad indeed. My why must the so called vigilante take laws into their hands? Please IGP should act immediately and bring those hoodlums to justice. <laughs> I am sure this one is being sarcastic. Fantastic job, my Niger State vigilantes. If the vigilantes in Igbo land or Yoruba land tried to neutralize these bloodthirsty terrorists, battalions of group troops and several Air Force fighter aircraft would have been unleashed on them. Indigenous people of Nigeria must now end the audacity of murderous bandits and violent Fulani Esme terrorizing people all over Nigeria. Hmm. They don't buy market to armed and army and police are coming to arrest all of them for killing their colleagues. Next time, just include hunters. The duo will finish the job. Hmm. Well, unless we show some courage to confront this bandit, we will end up being the victims of what we supposed to maintain. Very brave vigilante group. Only say you don't buy markets. You just have to be vigilant because government will send army, police, and DSS against you. Until not rise up to the to their defense, things will never change. Keep it up, North. Ordinary vigilante kid federal workers. They should expect police actions very soon. This is a great day for Nigeria. Salutations to Nupe warriors of uh, Kutugi, and a lesson to our securities security agencies that fighting together with vigilante will bring a Q, a quick resolution to those demonic attacks where is sunday Bobo, esn and gani adams who are going around killing unarmed old men women and children this is how to fight like a man is this one are you are you serious <laughs> okay oh, i know deep inside your heart you are crying because your members are giving going down sorry oh. okay i swear he just commented make you know be say be say we say he like say be like say he they concerned. So guys, uh, that is just the whole thing that happened in Niger State. Let's hear your own comments in the comment section.